focus on the abortion issue one because that's one of the issues in the Senate where Senator Tuberville, who's been on the program a lot, a good friend of yeah. yours, who has said, look, I'm not I'm putting a pause, a hold on promotions. You're going to have to vote on them one at a time because of this unilateral change in the abortion funding, abortion travel of uh, for the military. Is this not the off-ramp they've been looking at? Just adopt the NDAA as passed by the House that addresses this issue? This takes care of the promotion issue as well? A hundred percent. And and let's be clear to everyone out there listening. Uh, Coach Tuberville deserves praise for having uh, the courage to stand up and try to stand for the non-taxpayer funding of abortion and abortion tourism. Uh, I wish more of his Senate colleagues were standing alongside him. I want to be very clear. There are a lot of senators who run as pro-life senators who are not standing with Coach Tuberville and who are all too happy to move an NDAA that removes our protection for life. You're exactly right. This is the off-ramp they'd be looking for. Um, I stand with Coach Tuberville. I believe that we ought to have a defense that is focused on defending the United States, not social engineering, and not funding abortion tourism. Agreed. I mean, especially when we see how volatile the world is right now, we should be focused on one thing when it comes to our military. That is having a force that is lethal, that is prepared to defend this country. And all of this DEI, uh, abortion, travel, all of this stuff is, is a distraction. Just what Israel was doing, Israel was distracted when they were attacked by Hamas. Yep. If we're not careful with an open southern border, focused on all this other stuff, we're not going to be prepared when we're attacked. Yeah, you're exactly right. And not to jump ahead a segment that you're going to have, uh, you know, I was there at the press conference with Mike Braun, who I think you're going to have on, Rick Scott, you played a clip. Uh, we talked about spending. We talked about uh, issues like the NDAA, like you just described, but we also talked about the border. And, and uh, I hope that there's no circumstance in which we will bring to the floor of the House uh, anything for Ukraine until we've done what we are supposed to do to defend the border of the United States. And that means passing H.R. 2 out of the Senate. Joe Biden signing it into law, attaching metrics to it. If any dollar flows to Ukraine, it must come after the border to the United States is secure, and only then if it's transparent and mission-focused. So we're going to stand on that wall defending what the American people sent us here to do. I get thanked all the time in Texas. I don't often get thanked in Congress, and that's exactly the way it ought to be. <laughs> You're there to represent your constituents back in, in, in Texas, who I'm sure are very much in line with your positions or you're in line with theirs. And, and by the way, uh, we're, we're going to help on this NDAA. The Family Research Council has announced that uh, we're going to score this. And in fact, I, I told the speaker that today, that we're going to score yeah. this measure if the House language on ending this abortion travel is taken out. There's no reason, no reason. This is a 60, 65, 70 percent issue across the board in America, we do not believe taxpayer money, sh money should go to fund abortion. No, no, and Tony, this is really important, right? You know, we want a major victory for life. It's not a political victory. It's a victory for life. Last summer, through all of our works for the last 50 years, to overturn Roe because it's the right legal result and the right result for life. But right now, we should be doing everything we can to win minds and hearts. And I know that the vast majority of the American people, regardless of where they fall in the spectrum on abortion and different beliefs about it at birth or at six weeks or 15 weeks, right. the fact is they don't want taxpayer funding. They want us to stay focused on a military doing its job. So let's pull all that right. out. It's Democrats who want to politicize our defense. Well, and We're this, the ones who want to get it focused on its job. But but I want, to, I want to, just for a moment, we're almost out of time here, but you mentioned the Republicans. There are some Republicans in the Senate that will not take a definitive stand on this. And they're the ones that are saying, a, right. a lot of them, after the Roe decision, after Roe was turned, the Dobbs decision, Roe overturned, that, well, the, only, the government doesn't have a role in this. The federal government doesn't have a role. It certainly does have a role when it comes to the funding of abortion. It should not be doing it. That's beyond question. 